Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a product updates video and a haul. The haul is going to be at the end so stick around for that. The first things I'm going to talk about are shampoo and conditioner and this is the OGX uh, Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco and I've heard so many great things about this. I've been wanting to try this for a long time. I got mine, I think it was buy one, get one 50% off at... I want to say Walgreens. I'm not too sure though. Uh, doesn't matter. You could get this pretty much anywhere. And I have been using this, but I don't see any difference. So I, I don't know. I would, probably wouldn't get this again. The only shampoo and conditioner I've really been impressed with and noticed a difference was the Dove Intensive Therapy. I think that one is fantastic. It's probably uh, the, my go-to at the drugstore. But I'm always trying new shampoos and conditioners. But that one is my favorite. Uh, so I know that this brand has so many more types of shampoos and conditioner. Let me know if this is, uh, maybe this is not the right one for me. I have really thick, <laughs> thick, thick hair. It's straight, but it's also frizzy. I have a lot of flyaways, so maybe I could try something else from that brand. Uh, next is another hair product. This is the Macadamia Healing Oil Spray, and it's a this is, I believe, a travel size. Um, it's very expensive. I do like it when I use it in my hair. Um, since the spray, it's kind of, I feel like, not 100% oil, if that makes sense. It's, um, since it's a spray, it's kind of watered down. And I do like this, but I like the other hair oils that I have uh, more than this one, so I probably wouldn't get this again. But, I mean, this is really nice. Macadamia is well known for the things that they do, to, the good things that they do to your hair. And I do like this, but I like other hair oils better. Okay. Uh, Makeup. Actually, let me talk about the, the super sizer. As you can see, I still haven't opened it because I have not finished up the uh, the mascara that I'm currently trying to use up, which is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme. So I'm still excited to try this. So hopefully, I'll get to it uh, next month. Okay. Uh, then here is this is the eBay contour brush. I was really interested in a brush of this style and I do like this so I am going to this is not the best quality as you can tell the handle is not that great but for me to just see if I like this kind of brush and is it worth getting at another company like elf or I know Sephora and just a whole bunch of other places have this type of brush I like this I like the fact that you can use this whole thing if you want but you can also use the edges which I happen to do a lot so I'll go pick up some product at the edge, go like this, and then you could turn it and buff it out. So that's great for that because you can use this brush uh, vertically, I guess, and then diagonally or horizontally. I guess you could do that with any brush, but this is like, it's just, you lay it down and then you turn it and you brush it, you blend it out. So this is fantastic. So I really am glad that I got this brush. Next, let's talk about some lip products. I have three Maybelline color blurs, which are probably my it lip product of the moment. I really like these. The colors are so bright and amazing and they're just fantastic. Um, I'm wearing right now. I wore this for the um, my uh, the office get ready with me. It's just a fantastic red color. It's called Cherry Cherry Bang Bang. I just think it's fantastic. I love this red. Uh, next is the Partner in Crimson which is a darker red. but this is a really nice color too and then this one is very misbehaved this is just a really fun bright pink and the thing about these um, they don't last as long as I would like to they do last a decent amount of time but I just love the way that they feel on my lips I think this is for a matte lipstick it is the creamiest matte lipstick that you'll ever put on. It just feels like you have a bomb on your lips, but it's very colorful and fantastic, fantastic. I have all, I think I have, um, well, you'll see in the haul, I picked up another one because I want to get the whole collection. Uh, then we have the L'Oreal Lilac, and this one is in Lacky Charm, and I've tried, well, the first couple of times I tried it, I could not stand the smell. It was really fragrant, but I really like this color, and I've gotten used to the scent. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I got this, and it's such a 
wearable color. I don't have to think much about it. Um, it's just a really nice color, and so I'm glad I got this. When I first tried it, I was like, oh, why did I get this? Uh, and then the last few things I want to talk about are eyeshadows. So I got a few eyeshadows. Oh, where is that other one? Okay. Uh, so I have a few from Prestige, which looks like this. I have to be careful with this one because they're so buttery and creamy, but they tend to uh, break apart easily, so you have to be careful with this. This one is uh, the one in Bewitched, I believe. Yeah, Bewitched, and it is a taupey, beautiful goodness. Now, it is dual chrome, but you, um, it's kind of hard to see. Um, it looks like that. Oh, it's so beautiful. I feel like it's dual chrome. Maybe it's not. So that's the color. It's so nice. And then the other two are colorful. Uh, this one is a purple and it's called Addiction. And then this one is Hypnotize and it's uh, kind of like a teal color. They're both so pretty. And I have several of these Total Intensity eyeshadows from Prestige and they are just fantastic. Um, Bed Bath has them on clearance a lot. I guess they're trying to get rid of them, which is, it was really sad because they are so good. Okay, so those are those two. And yeah, I, I wore this one the other day just on my eyes and I thought um, it looked really pretty. So I would recommend this. Ugh, recommend those, especially if you get them at Bed Bath because you can always use that coupon. And then the last thing I want to talk about is this Stila eyeshadow, which is, it has the funniest name. It's Comax Platinum. And this thing is just insane how pigmented it is. And let me just show you what, I, what I've been doing with this lately is, look at that. Oh my goodness, that is, it's beautiful. Um, it's a little bit hard to work with because it is kind of a different texture. It's kind of like a, a it's, it's hard, but it's also pliable, if that makes any sense. Um, let me just show you once I put this on my hand. It's just so gorgeous. So what I've been liking to do is actually, I'll do it right now, is putting it right in the middle of my eye look and it just, it just gives a little bit of something and you could go full on like this and that's what you'll get on your eyes and just really beautiful now I know that's not a color for everyone but I've just been enjoying it and I was so surprised with the color payoff of that product so I was really happy with the makeup portion of uh, this product update I feel like I since there wasn't a lot of makeup in this round that I uh, could devote more to trying to finish up the products that I'm trying to finish up which has been a struggle uh, and I got to really enjoy the makeup products that I did get this round uh, because it wasn't just so it wasn't so many products to try uh, to use up and you know test for you guys uh, and now on to the haul and the first thing is this jacket it's by Rachel Roy which I she has some she has some wild things at Macy's and then she has some really like comfortable cute things and this is the jacket and I just love that it's kind of part part hoodie and part army and it does cinch at the waist so it is this part right here it does cinch at the at the waist which makes it a little bit girly but it's also tomboyish and I I just think it's adorable I really really like it and so I I got it and that's really the only piece of clothing that I have bought recently and then uh, for beauty and skincare and things like that I got this is the Revlon luxurious color silk buttercream uh, hair dye and this one is in blue black and I just needed something that was black uh, because I'm getting white hairs and so I got this one because it was I think on sale for like two dollars us it's an inexpensive hair dye to begin with but then it was on sale uh, today I just picked up these are two hair products um, this one is not your mother's I've been tr trying to find uh, not your mother's 
uh, hair products and I thought this was a good one to try. This is the She's a Tease Volumizing Hairspray infused with apple blossom and bamboo. Um, I like the hairspray that I have now. It's the Tresemme. Um, I'm not exactly sure what level it is, but it's not my favorite and I'm just trying to finish it up and I thought I would get this one uh, because I don't really have a hairspray that I'm going to use after that. And then this is the Herbal Essence Naked Dry Shampoo. And I've been enjoying using dry shampoos and I do have to say I feel like my hair, I, a, lot, a lot has to do with the haircut that I got. I feel like my hair is so much healthier and I'm trying to take care of it better. Um, I wasn't, not that I was destroying it, I hardly use hair products. The one thing that I do like to do is dye it. Um, and it's more, I guess, now I'm just trying to keep the grays out, which I, not a lot of grays, but like, you know, here and there, I have grays, so um, I am still going to color my hair, but I've been just trying to um, just take care of it better, so I haven't been, which includes I, not washing it as much. And then for the makeup, I had, um, I said this before in a few other vid 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 videos. I've been trying to just use up the makeup that I got from um, the makeup that I just updated you guys on and just trying to finish up the products that I'm trying to use up which has been a real struggle. Uh, most of my face is with those products but it's just gets kind of dull and also when you're staring at the makeup cabinet or makeup drawers that you have and you're just you're forced to use up only these products it kind of gets boring and a struggle ensues uh, but the makeup I did get uh, this is a Maybelline color blur it's in my my magenta Ooh, that's beautiful so it looks like it looks like that and uh, the formula is so good it's so creamy so I'm excited to try that and the last thing that I picked up recently is the city color mosaic blush and I've heard a few people talking about City Color, which you could only get, I believe, well, I don't want to say only. I only find my City Color products at Five Below. And I was trying to look for the matte blushes, but I only found this one. Uh, it's in Coral Glow, and it's gorgeous. So there's three colors in here. The pink and the lighter color are are uh, shimmery, not too shimmery like glitter or anything like that. And then the orange is matte, and I want to just show you. So... All the three colors mixed together create this beautiful coral glow look at that and then uh, the pink is really pretty too so yeah they just this is the pink and then this is all mixed together and the other two are okay they're just really light um, I'm glad I got this I'm still gonna look for the matte blushes uh, and then I was also going to pick up, they had the setting spray, and I was, you know me, and setting sprays, I love them. Uh, but when I was on the checkout, I was like, why is my hand wet? And the bottle was, uh, I had been waiting on the line for a while, so I, um, I didn't want to get another one. I was like, oh, it's really cheap packaging, so just be careful uh, when you, if you decide to get the setting spray, because it just, the bottle was like leaking all over my hand, and I was like, oh my goodness, what's going on? I thought the ceiling was, like, water was coming through the ceiling or something. Um, crazy. Okay, so that is the end of this product update slash haul, and yeah, I just, let me know, I'm, this is my channel, I feel like it's kind of going in a, a slightly different direction, I'm still going to talk about makeup, um, but I just am kind of changing focus right now, concentrating on decluttering and uh, more hair stuff and skincare, not just makeup, because I have a lot of makeup and it's, I feel like it's, it's I don't want to say silly to get more while I have so many because, you know, I love makeup, um, but I'm just finding out that I like other, I love other things as well, so... Uh, let me know what other videos you would like to see from me and I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon.